Welcome back to another installment of Bikini Nation. I hope you're all doing really well wherever you are in the world, especially in these crazy times. Now we all know this weekend, yes, this weekend is the big Arnold Classic. Excited? That is an understatement. Now today I'm finally going to do my 2022 Arnold Classic Bikini Predictions, my top five heading into this year's show. Now I keep changing my mind on this top five every single day with how deep this lineup is. Honestly, every time I see a new progress pick, or even if I don't see a progress pick, it has influenced my decision. I've tried to put logic and competing history into my picks. Like this person beat this person, which means this person should place here. But then you realize this is bikini and it's the most competitive division in the IFBB. And a lot of this lineup has beaten each other over the years. So I'm throwing all of that out the window and basing my top five on what my gut's telling me. Who has the momentum going into this show? What I think the judges will be looking for? And at the end of the day, it's really anyone's crown for the taking. And I have so much respect for all of the competitors, whether they win or not. But first things first, let's quickly take a look at the competitors who will be competing this year. We have Ashley Coltwazza from the United States, Maureen Blanquisco representing the US where she currently lives, but also the Philippines and Norway, Alicia Fatchen from Italy, Alison Testu repping France, Laura Lee Chapatos from Canada, Issa Pacini from Brazil, Lucia Malaves representing USA and Brazil, Jordan Lee from the US, Phoebe Hagen from the UK, and rounding it out, Lauren Denmiller also representing the USA. Now I'm going to start with my number five pick, which in my eyes is actually the hardest position to pick. I'm going to be upfront with you guys from the get go. My top four picks all placed in the top five at Olympia last year, and you all know the competitors who I'm talking about, which essentially means the fifth spot battle is really between the six remaining competitors in this lineup, being Alicia Fatchen, Phoebe Hagen, Lauren Denmiller, Alison Testu, Lucia Malaves, and Jordan Lee. And don't get me wrong, I could see any of these girls taking the Arnold Classic this year, but I have to factor in momentum and the fact the Olympia was really only a couple of months ago. I think this is a fair indication to go off leading into this show. At the end of the day, only the judges really know what look they want for 2022. And the best we can do is try and guess what that may be. We have heard it could potentially be a slightly softer and fuller look this year. But you know what? If you look at the top three from Olympia last year, they all had completely different body shapes. So I don't think we should pigeonhole any certain look. Really, it is going to go to the competitor who gets up on stage and demands your attention. Who has a beautiful aesthetic balance to their body? Someone who shows both swagger and confidence without arrogance. Displays grace and elegance without it being disingenuous. Someone who has not only come here and peaked at 100%, but someone who has come to cement their spot in history and bring home the 2022 Arnold Bikini title. So with that all being said, in fifth place, I've put Alison Testu, and boy oh boy was this hard. I was tossing up between Lauren, who I could easily see here, Lucia, top 10 Olympian, Alicia, consistent in every show and another Olympian, Phoebe, Arnold UK winner, and I wouldn't be surprised if any of these girls I mentioned took out this spot. That is how close it is. But I went with my gut and I put Alison in fifth position. I think Alison really has a look which demands your attention. She has crazy proportions, an insane front taper. She made huge gains in her glute development and Alison is completely peeled. Now I could easily have Alison even higher up in the rankings, but I just don't know what the judges are going to reward at this show. And because she hasn't competed that much against this current lineup or much in the US at all, she's really the dark horse heading into this show. Now her proportions combined with that wow factor, which you just can't help but stare at, might be too much for the judges to handle. But you know what? I absolutely love her physique and I think all the true diehard bodybuilding fans admire and respect her physique as well. 
I really do get Issa 2019 vibes off Alison, where she's really pushing that envelope. But that is what I love about this sport. Now, will the judges award this? I don't have an absolute clue, but either way, I'm rooting for Alison heading into the Arnold. Now, taking a look back at Alison's 2021, she may not have necessarily been as dominant as some of the other competitors in this lineup, but I tell you what, she has gained an enormous amount of momentum and forced the bodybuilding world to pay attention to her. And to me, this says a lot, and this will be the starting point of Alison's own dominance in the division. At Olympia, she placed in the top 15, but she came in uncharacteristically soft, and even she will say this was not her best look. Moving on to later in the year, she was extremely receptive to the judges' feedback and bought in a more dialed-in package to take out the Prague Pro, then went on to place second at Romania behind Ashley Coltwasser. And to me, Alison had a very successful year. She has made even more improvements with her coach, Mauro from Team MHD, and I think this is only the beginning for her. This is why she is my number five pick for the Arnold Classic. On to my number four prediction. Again, it was extremely difficult to try and separate the top four and rationalize why one might beat another. And look, I could be completely off, but today I have landed on Ashley Coltwasser in fourth position. She will likely be in everyone's top five, top three or winner of this show. And this is because of her consistent track record. It is impeccable. On paper, she beats out everyone if you look at her career. Two-time Arnold Classic winner, three-time Olympia champ, and 31 pro bikini wins, which is the most in IFBB history in any division ever. And let me make this clear, all these wins are not from years ago. She is literally still dominating and wiping the floor clean at shows today. She literally has already won a show this year. She's an icon of bikini. She highlighted this in 2021 by winning numerous shows and placing third at Olympia. Ashley's experience cannot be rivaled, and this 100% gives her an edge. She's a true champion and a competitor. But besides her outstanding CV, she always brings in a killer physique. She has a great amount of muscle mass in all the right places, an excellent glute pop, and I think some of the best abs in the game. Overall, she has a really balanced look. Not to mention, she usually always nails that conditioning and peak. She and her coach Adam knows her body so well and what works for her. Ashley's track record, her overall experience, consistency and incredible physique is why I cannot go past her for my fourth pick for the Arnold Classic Bikini. Now number three, number three, who is going to get that third spot? And for me, it's Issa Bicini. Let's start off by saying that Issa just has that X factor with her physique, which I honestly think blew people away and took the sport to new heights when she won Olympia in 2019. The way her lats flow so nicely to accentuate her tiny, tiny waist, then flow again to highlight her round glutes, really paint the picture of that hourglass bikini physique so many admire and want, but also respect. It's that X factor I was talking about. That is Issa Bicini. 2021 kicked off the year nicely, taking out the Tampa Pro in a stacked lineup, including Laura Lee Chapados, Jen Dory, who won Olympia that year, and Daraja Hill, where she showcased a physique more reminiscent of when she won Olympia back in 2019. She continued her success by coming in second at the Arnold Classic behind Jen Dory, with only one point separating them. Olympia then came by shortly after where she placed fifth. And to be honest, this was not her best look for ESA standards. She came in softer based on the judges' feedback from the Arnold. I am, however, certain her and her coach Ricardo have taken this as a learning opportunity and she will deliver a more conditioned look. And reviewing her progress photos leading up to this show, I can already see this. The Issa we know and love, I honestly think she is looking so dialed in, focused and ready to give all these competitors a real run for their money. I wouldn't be surprised if she won this whole show either. 
Issa is the most accomplished competitor going into this show just after Ashley. She has won this show before and the biggest title of all, Olympia. She has also beaten out pretty much everyone else on this list before. And for these reasons, I believe Issa will get that third spot. Now for number two, wow, this was so tough trying to weigh up all the possibilities and variables that come into play, but I've locked in Laura Leachapados. Now I understand that this is probably the majority's pick to win the Arnold Classic bikini title and I completely get it. Laura Lee came in second place at Olympia last year behind Jen Dory with only one point separating them. She also came in third at Arnold Classic 2021 and had other big wins such as the Chicago Pro. So I do agree that she's a favorite going into this show for many, many fans out there. The momentum is there. Her physique is looking almost the best I've ever seen it. With her well-developed glutes, cap delts, and bringing in this downsized conditioned look, it's looking absolutely insane. So because of this, she will definitely be right up there, probably in that top two or three position. But whether she can win it is the big question on everyone's lips. But as I said, bikini is so unpredictable, and that's why I love it. I have no doubt she will look amazing at this show, and either way, I can't wait to watch it. Now we are on to that prestigious and esteemed number one spot for the Arnold Classic Bikini title. Who is going to carve their name into the Bikini Division's Hall of Fame and make history? Well, look, you've probably already guessed by process of elimination. It's Maureen Blankisco. Maureen came back with a vengeance in 2021 and forced the bikini world to know that she is not here to muck around. She is a true contender for any title. She produced some impressive placings throughout the year, but what really pushed her to the next level was that fourth place finish at Olympia. Now I get that Laura Lee and Ashley both beat out Maureen at this show and theoretically should beat her on paper as well, Issa as well. But as I said earlier, I'm not putting all my money just on history alone. I'm basing my decision on my gut instinct, their momentum, their progress since then, their current physique updates, and what I think the judges will reward. And Maureen has it all. She ticks all of these boxes. Looking at her most recent updates, she has most definitely made improvements to her package. It looks like she has put on a little bit more muscle mass to her lower body and has therefore created an even more balanced look that really showcases that X frame. On top of this, she possesses so much grace, class and elegance when she presents on stage, where it's hard to take your eyes off her. And we all know bikini is more than just the physique. It's that overall look and your presence. For these reasons, I'm going to back Maureen and put her as my number one pick. Let me stress this was not easy at all. And it could really go any way. It's wide open for anyone to take. Now guys, please tell me your top five in the comments down below. Tell me how wrong I am or if you agree with me. But at the end of the day, I think all of us at home watching the show are just the real winners. As always, thank you so much for supporting my content. I can't believe how many of you watch my videos. It's pretty damn cool. Please like, subscribe to my channel, hit me up on Insta. I will be covering the bikini and wellness divisions on the weekend. So stay tuned for lots more Arnold content. I hope you're all doing extremely well over and out from Bikini Nation.